What if you could monitor your power consumption in real time with a DIY setup? Track energy usage using PeaceFair module and D1 Mini. Visualize your energy consumption trends on the ThingSpeak platform. Track solar power generation or optimize your energy usage. Join me in building this simple, powerful energy monitoring system. So let's get started. The PeaceFair is a compact and highly efficient AC energy monitoring module designed for measuring voltage, current, power, and energy consumption in real time. It is widely used in DIY and IoT projects due to its affordability, ease of integration, and support for serial communication protocols. On the left side, you can connect load and CT coil, while on the right side, you can connect any microcontroller. It can measure voltage from 80 to 260 volt AC and current up to 100 ampere with an external CT coil. It is suitable for both low power and high power applications. Cumulative energy monitoring and configurable thresholds for safety. It's an ideal choice for smart energy systems, solar power tracking, or home automation projects. This module provides accurate measurements for voltage, current, power, and energy consumption. Compatible with microcontrollers like Arduino, ESP32, and Wemos D1 Mini, making it ideal for IoT applications. This pzdm 4 t module offers real-time data, perfect for dynamic energy tracking. Again, in this project, we are using Wemos D1 Mini microcontroller. Due to its compact and lightweight features and simple integration, we will connect PeaceFair module using serial communication. You can use any microcontroller like Arduino, ESP32, Lolin32, Node MCU or STM32 microcontroller. With our PeaceFair module, we received closed CT call, but there are other options available in the market, like split CT calls, which can be clamped directly around an existing conductor without disconnecting it, making installation quick and non-intrusive. If you want to see video on how to use split call with PeaceFair module, then comment us. So now we are ready to connect CT call to the load. Here in this project, we are using LED bulb as a load. As shown here, we connected two set of neutral and phase wires to the plug. One set will be connected to the bulb holder while other set will be connected to PZM module. Now identify neutral wire. Here we have blue wire working as a neutral. Ensure you have access to a segment of the neutral wire that can pass through the CT core. Unlike split core CTs, the neutral wire must be threaded through the center of the closed core CT call as shown here. And here is the wiring diagram of our project. If you are not sure, then we recommend you to take help of professional electrician. Now the other set of neutral and phase wires that we left in the last setup need to connect to PZM module as shown here. Also connect CT call to PZM module. Now we are ready to connect Wemos D1 Mini to the PZM module. Connect one set of jumper wires to 5V and ground pin and other set to D7 and D8 pin of D1 Mini. Connect 5V of D1 Mini to 5V of PZM module and ground to ground. Similarly, D7 to TX and D8 to RX of the PZM module. Here we are using 10 watt LED bulb as a load and monitor energy consumption of this bulb. Connect bulb to the holder and we are almost ready for the test. But first, we need sketch for the Wemos D1 Mini to run this project. So here is our sketch. We need to install ESP8266 Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Manager, EEPROM, pzdm 4 t ThingSpeak, and ESP8266 WebServer libraries. Here we have defined D7 pin as ARX and D8 pin as ATX for D1 mini microcontroller. 
Here we have defined default threshold limit. ThingSpeak API key, channel ID and threshold limit can be changed from online portal and saved to EEPROM. Serial monitor can be accessed to 115200 baud rate and on first startup you will see access point name as shown here. Here we have ThingSpeak function to initialize it along with the data to read from the PZM module and show it in the serial monitor. We are showing power outage if voltage drops below 1 volt and alert raised if power raises over threshold limit. In a free ThingSpeak account you can set minimum delay to 15 seconds. Here we have defined 20 seconds. And here is the function to send data to ThingSpeak server. On ThingSpeak server, you have to define fields as per this order. And here is the function to load setting from EPRO, along with the function to save data to the EPRO. And here is the web server code, where we have fields to input values of the API key channel ID and threshold limit. With this, our sketch is ready to be uploaded to the D1 Mini. On the first startup of the D1 Mini, you have to provide Wi-Fi credentials. After that, on every boot sequence, you will see IP address to access the web portal and serial data from PZM module. Data will be live synced to the ThingSpeak server. And here is the web portal where you can enter API key, channel ID and threshold limit. All these values will be saved in the EEPROM of the D1 Mini. Log into your ThingSpeak account and click on the new channel button. Provide channel name, description and field names like voltage, current, power, energy, frequency and power factor that we defined in the sketch earlier. Once done, save the channel. And now it's time to see the actual results. Plug your setup in the power socket and turn the bulb on. Your PZM module will start transmitting the values to the D1 Mini and same will be synced to the ThingSpeak channel on the defined interval. As shown here, the data of voltage, current, power, energy, frequency and power factor will be plotted on the graph against the time. Use widgets in the ThingSpeak platform to create visual dashboards. ThingSpeak allows you to view your data from any internet-connected device, making remote monitoring convenient. If you want to see upgraded version of this project, please let us know. Till then, I am DHK Dude signing off.